Today we're taking a look at an MSI laptop, but is it the Best Buy? And speaking of Best Buy, Best Buy was nice enough to sponsor this showcase of this MSI laptop and HyperX headset, which we'll talk more about later. Best Buy is your one-stop shop to get into gaming. From console to PC gaming, they have you covered. But shout out again to Best Buy for sponsoring today's video. We're gonna be benchmarking this laptop in some of our favorite games, showing you guys how to upgrade it, and also talk about the amazing deal you can get on it while also testing out this awesome HyperX headset. Let's not waste any more time and open up this laptop and see what's inside. All right, guys. What we have right here is the RTX 4050 laptop, which is actually on sale right now at the time of recording this video for $700. Features the 4050 and a really nice Intel CPU that I don't know the name of. Oh yeah. So this thing has the i5-12450H, which is an eight core, 12 threaded processor, those performance and efficiency cores, and paired with that 4050, it's gonna be great for content creation and like 3D rendering work while also being able to do some gaming. Yeah, we got a really nice box and just honestly good on MSI's part, just good representation. A lot of these kind of more mid-range laptops that are gaming oriented aren't really the most nicest boxing experience. Sometimes they almost feel refurbished, but this I would consider to be very premium. Look at that, we get a little oh. slip. Oh, we get stickers oh stickers are the best we all right forget about stickers. the laptop for a second look at the stickers <laughs> so yeah we get a uh, power brick that is a uh, delta brand and it is 120 watts so it's pretty efficient actually not it's too not bad. bad and then in this bag we just get a quick start guide and yeah, that's pretty much it there's really not a whole lot to it what really more do you need guys <laughs> and yeah the price point is what makes this thing really competitive right now on sale for 700 dollars prices do vary at the time of recording this video so check the link down below for the most, uh, most up-to-date pricing but uh, yeah this is a nice Ooh, laptop it has like a, a clear that's look cool. that that's actually really like sick looking. It and yeah. it has, look at that, the ventilation is text. <laughs> Let me see, what does it say? MSI True Gaming? <laughs> we're, we're, we're a gaming? I don't know what that's all about, but hey, it's ventilation and it looks really cool. It's a really uh, standout feature compared to other laptops on the market. Uh, I'll be interested to see if there's like some RGB that makes that glow a little bit, because that'd be kind of cool. But yeah, we'll go ahead and open it up real quick and see what we have inside. It's beautiful, look at we that. We got a 15.6 inch 144 hertz IPS display. Beautiful, and that'll work really well again for gaming, especially with that 4050. And I, I really like this form factor. 15.6 uh, inch is not super small compared to other compact laptops, but this thing does keep a very small profile as well. So it'd be great for college students on the go who want to game on the side. Yeah, and it also just looks, I mean, really sick. That's something I'm really starting to like about these new, you don't have to buy like the crazy high-end $3,000 laptops to get something that looks cool and unique. They definitely have done that. You even have like the WSD keys that look like they're probably going to glow. I'm imagining we're going to have a full RGB keyboard, but I've been shocked before. On the right side, the laptop for ports, we have the charging port. We have a full-size Ethernet, HDMI, USB Type-C, which I believe also operates as a display out, and a USB 3. On the other side, we have a Kensington lock, another USB 3 port, and a combo headphone jack. Nothing on the back, so ports are pretty good. You'll have all the ports you really need to get a keyboard and mouse set up if you want to have like a docking setup uh, with this laptop, which I think will be really good for it. Um, and yeah, full-size Ethernet, that's a big plus, especially for gamers. Yeah, and so don't forget, guys, you got a 12 Gen i5 that does actually utilize the efficiency and performance cores. So you get a eight core and 12 threaded processor. And then you get an RTX 4050, which is a dedicated RTX GPU that has NVENC and DLSS support. So yeah, there's the light up keyboard looking pretty sick. Mm, well, Should have some RGB customization, I would assume, or it may just be that light blue of the box because it, it is a very, uh, it's a gaming laptop, but it also doesn't like scream gaming also. Like, I mean, if you had this in a classroom, it's not like crazy RGB or anything. It's just MSI logo. It's very neutral. It could be used for multiple use cases, not just some really big over the top gaming laptop. It's an interesting design that they made it all clear, but um, yeah, it seems like pretty minimal in the lighting. Let's get in the windows. Let's see what this thing looks like. All right, guys, now that we have this laptop all booted in, let's go over the key specs again. We have the i5-12450H, which is an eight core, 12 threaded processor. We have eight gigs of DDR5 memory, which, is one stick of memory, which with DDR5 is not as big of a deal, but it's incredibly affordable to buy an extra stick of DDR5 memory. And we will show you how to upgrade this laptop with it and spend an extra like 22 to $23 for eight gigs of sodium DDR5. And for the SSD, we have this Samsung Gen 4 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD. And of course we have the RTX 4050 with uh, the UHD graphics if you wanna use that to save battery. So yeah, it's six gigs six of VRAM. Gigs. Um, mm -hmm. on a 4050, which should be fine for most games. Obviously, we're mainly focused on esports titles. You got your Fortnite, you got Overwatch, uh, Valorant, CSGO, stuff like that. And also, you should be able to play Warzone on lower settings, but I really think the RAM upgrade would be almost essential if you want to play Warzone at really high settings. What we're do you still say? trying to figure out this keyboard. We think it's just blue, guys, but maybe we'll, I'm assuming it comes in the MSI, MSI. Center. Yeah. Up, 
But yeah, guys, we'll mess with the RGB software, get everything set up the way we want to after we install some games and see how it performs. But we'll see how it performs out of the box and then do a RAM upgrade tutorial to show you guys how to upgrade and probably compare, I would guess Warzone to be a good comparison, show you guys how it is out of the box and how it performs after doing the RAM upgrade, which should be pretty straightforward. So let's go and get some games installed. Woo! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are playing Apex Legends on the MSI Cyborg laptop and guys, I'm ready to be the Terminator. Jackson is gaming with the HyperX Cloud 2s, which is a really awesome headset that HyperX was nice enough to include uh, with this roundup here where we're showcasing this awesome laptop. But yeah, wireless, uh, very lightweight, comes with a detachable microphone, really cool headset, and he's so immersed in the gameplay right now. I'm so immersed that I, I didn't even kill someone, but yeah, no, it's, it's a pretty good headset. Um, you know, you get over 30 hour battery life and they're they're pretty comfy. I think that's the reason they call them the cloud. There's the clouds. Like clouds in your head. They float on your noggin. This is pretty dang smooth for only single channel. As we mentioned, DDR5 single channel is much better than DDR4, so it, it really isn't that big of a deal. It's really the capacity that would benefit from the upgrade rather than the single channel issue because if we had a single 16 gig DDR5 stick, it probably would run perfectly fine. It wouldn't probably be much of a difference versus two 8 gig DDR5 sticks. Yeah, it, it definitely, because you you might be looking thinking like, well, it's only using seven and a half gigs. Like you still have more uh, headroom, but realistically you'll see after we upgrade it um, in a game like Call of Duty, it will use more RAM if you give it to it and nice. it will benefit. Hey, let's go. No. Oh, no. Immediately killed after that. Oh, it's full auto? Oh, these are the shots we're looking for. Buddy, dial, oh my God, what's punch? What is, this guy's such a- How bot. did that guy not kill you? I don't even know, man. I'm not gonna complain. Oh, uh, boo! no scopes. Oh yes, let's go. The wingman, yay. Oh God. Druggy versus druggy. Hey! Yeah, die. He's so lit. How is he not dead? <laughs> Hello? Oh, I got uh -oh. the knives. Yes, Wait. Wolf Squad, baby. Oh, I don't even think I got that game. No, it looked I, like it should have been a nice look. You got kill, the damage, but, though. Yeah. But hey, this laptop running great so far. No upgrades needed at this price point. Looking pretty yeah. good. Let's try a more demanding game. All right, guys, we are now in Warzone 2.0, 1080p balance preset with balance DLSS. And it looks like right now we're getting about 80 to 90 FPS. But again, we are really maxing out that single stick of eight gigs of memory. We will rerun the test for Call of Duty Warzone once we do the RAM upgrade to show you guys the difference. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely playable out of the box, but that upgrade will be helpful. And again, after we finish this, we'll show you guys exactly how to do it at home if you do buy one of these laptops. Just a weird little note, the 4050 or not 4050, which is the IGP right there, is actually being used 20% right now while playing this game. Weird, don't know why, but the IGP is being used a little bit here. So I don't know if it's something to do with how Warzone works with laptops, but just something to mention. But yeah, FPS, 90 to 80 FPS, more than playable, not the full 144 hertz that we have, but it is still very smooth. These 40 series laptop GPUs just run very well on these uh, newer titles. Ah, most wanted, you're done. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, this headset is pretty comfortable. Can't complain too much about it. It's very lightweight and um, a good option, especially for a wireless headset right now. This might be a good time for me to die. Oh, it's, oh, okay. Well, I ain't getting no redeploy there, but you know what, that's fine because we want to upgrade this thing. We want to see what this thing can do with that RAM upgrade, which should be pretty straightforward to do. So let's take this thing to the overhead rig show you guys how to upgrade it. All right, guys, to upgrade the RAM on this laptop is very straightforward. All you need to do is get a PH1 Phillips fit screwdriver and unscrew all the screws as shown here. There is one hidden screw underneath the white label, which you do need to unscrew, so be sure you get that one. It's like a factory seal. Be sure to remove that one. And then once you pry open the laptop, which does take a bit of effort compared to other laptops, you'll be greeted with the motherboard of the laptop where you'll see a little black cover that has a piece of tape over it. Remove the piece of tape and then pull off the black cover. Underneath the black cover, there will be an open slot to install your RAM stick. Again, we're using a crucial 8 gig stick to give us 16 gigs of DDR5 memory in total. And before you go ahead and put the back back onto the laptop, be sure to boot into Windows and make sure that 16 gigs shows up. And from there, you'll be good to go to test this laptop again at 16 gigs of memory, which I do expect will be a good improvement, but how big of improvement considering DDR5 memory does so well at single channel performance. So let's go ahead and test Call of Duty Warzone again and see what we got. 
All right, guys, we are back in Call of Duty Warzone. Just to show you guys, we're running the same settings, balanced preset, balanced DLSS, um, 120 FOV. But now with that RAM upgrade, you can see we're using a ton of RAM. We're up to 12 gigs of memory, uh, pretty much 13, I would say. But the real question is, is the performance significantly better? And I will say the performance isn't dramatically better, but it is running a bit smoother and we're getting some higher highs into the 100 FPS range. Um, the extra RAM is definitely beneficial but I'm thoroughly impressed with how well this thing actually performed uh, when only using one stick of DDR5 memory. So single channel DDR5, it, it's pretty impressive what it can do. Oh, how did I do that? It definitely feels much smoother overall. Aha, nice try, buddy. Oh, I survived. Ah. I couldn't make it. You know what? I'm gonna call it there. Runs incredibly well. I'll be honest, for this price point, especially with the sale that's going on, this laptop is a great deal. Performance is crazy good on this laptop with Call of Duty Modern Warfare, especially with the RAM upgrade. You'll have no problems getting a very good gaming experience on this thing, especially for the price. Yeah, very happy with this laptop overall. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done testing the Cyborg out, and it actually worked really well. The temps were very respectable. The fans actually stayed at a really good speed, even at 100% load. And overall, this thing's just a really good deal right now. We really can't hide the fact that we would buy this thing if we were in need of a laptop. Big thanks to Best Buy for sponsoring this showcase. Be sure to shop at Best Buy for all your gaming needs and pick up this MSI Cyborg laptop and HyperX headset by checking the links down below. But yeah, the RAM upgrade was something that I would recommend you do, but you don't necessarily have to do it if you're playing games like Fortnite and other esports titles. As you saw in Warzone, there was a difference, but it wasn't a massive difference. So it's really cool to see single channel 8 gigs at DDR5 is not nearly as big of a bottleneck as it was with DDR4. So once again, links in the description down below will be a fill links that will help us out. Let us know if you like this laptop or if you do anything differently with this laptop, let us know in the comment section down below. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twist.tv slash toasty bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye And if you guys didn't know, we also have even more YouTube channels besides that. We also have Twitch, we have Discord, we have TikTok, we got Facebook, we got Instagram, we got X, we got Threads. It goes on for days. We have so many different platforms. If you can't get up to Toasty Bros on YouTube, you should definitely take a look at all those other places that we have. They're always in the description down below. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.